Peace. This is um, a special reading that I wanted to just do as a free gift to those of you who have followed us, um, to those of you who are new, those of you who've just been rocking with us since the beginning. Thank you to each of you and thank you to everyone sending in the donations. Um, I, I felt the drive to do this and I'm doing this um, as a result of my spirit guides and ancestors have been just speaking to me and kind of giving me, putting, placing things in my heart that's important. So I try to stay away from a whole lot of studying and research to understand um, this eclipse, which is 20 degrees in Cancer, if I'm not mistaken. I just said I didn't do a lot of research, but I remember that. Um, and it's also a wolf moon. Um, I do have a video that I've been putting together to, to decode the energy of this moon and oh my goodness it ended up being an hour and 30 minute video and so I'm having to do things differently with, with how I upload so that I can get it up um, but if it doesn't get up during the full moon it's cool you know that information and full moon energy can linger for months you know um, so it's all good um, the next thing that I would like to say is that um, I want to tell you all energetically what I feel and I've already poured libations for my spirit guides and my ancestors I'm acknowledging my ancestors now thank you all of the angels all of the primordial divine feminine forces I call you I call on you So, um, with the energy, the planetary alignment, oh my goodness, we are being called to walk the walk and to stop talking the talk. And God and goddesses awakening, that, that journey, like we were, we incarnated into this life to experience this. And that journey is beautiful, but man, we have to, we really have to let go of the need for so much contrast in our life. Life is going to always bring situations to seem to be contrasting what you desire. That those are just the cycles of life. We're being called to respect the cycles of life. Um, not meaning that you shouldn't do what you can to manifest or to um, banish uh, things that you want to banish from your life but we are really being called right now to be the awakening gods and goddesses that we are and so for a lot of us we um we're not doing this the way the generations before us did it as far as getting initiated and having a particular spiritual house it's, it's crazy yet a lot of us have a lot of confidence in what we're feeling and what we're experiencing and the awakening and the change that is happening on a cellular, on a molecular DNA level, we are changing. Yes, we are changing. You, um, me, everyone who is experiencing the spiritual awakening is changing. And so I'm going to get into this reading and hopefully this reading is going to bring some more things forward um, for you guys. And so I'm not really going to ask specific questions. I'm going to just ask, like, what's important, you know, for the collective to know and just see what comes up. Um, I'm being told that I need to enter into this using my light language. And the good thing about that is if you don't like it or it makes you uncomfortable, guess what? You can click off of this video. Isn't freedom awesome? <laughs> but... If you don't mind, and if you have already been practicing being in a non-judgmental space, if you've already been practicing using your inner eye, using your heart to feel intuitiveness, then there's no need for your logical mind to know exactly what words I'm using. The English language has been tainted. It is full of all kinds of curses and contracts that keep our souls um, trapped. And so this is why they are telling me to do this because the this particular language these verbs these sounds uh, are very ancient 
and they are sounds that will resonate with some certain parts of your chakras, certain parts of you. You may even feel vibration happening. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's really beautiful to be able to share this with you all. But yeah, my guys is like, you better not start that damn reading. <laughs> they talk to me like that. You better not start that damn reading without doing what you were told to do. And so again, we have to walk it, walk it like we talk it. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Get yourself in a, in a more meditative state. Open your mind. Open your heart. <sighs> Release whatever happened throughout the day. And just exist in this moment and nothing else. Thoughts will come. That's okay. The mind is like an ocean. It's going to have waves. It's going to have tides. It's okay. When a thought comes, you just release it back away from you. Just release the thought and come back into the present moment. そこばばいきしこのろなかばばいきせのかばばいきれれしかれがたちかなだりれるそろろろまへけれれけなんてからねろろろろかままでれせけしこのろれしかままにまかばばけけせてこうてかままいたかちかななこうんちかななこうかまま
to know that it is not just take, 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 but it's give, take. And a lot of us have been expecting people who are in physical bodies to give as much as they take from us. And that is too much to expect. So use boundaries. Don't give more than you're able to give. Okay, the only debt that man has to one another is to love one another. And that can come in many forms. And so many of us have been misinformed about love. And we're having to go through the process of learning what love is. So know that some of the conditions in your life, the purpose is to produce the ability for you to have unconditional love, happiness, and gratitude. What is important for the collective of souls that are awakening? What is important? I'm going to accept that. What was important? There was a message before I even started this. And there was a message. And I really don't remember what it was, but there was a message. Um, if you could give us guidance, clarity, under the energy of this full whoop moon, where should we place our focus? Okay, so this first card I just pulled with me speaking and this is Diotes, and Diotes represents heart healing. This represents heart healing, okay? And um, this is the focus. This is, this is where our focus needs to be because a lot of us are living out, we're still, we're still using our ego as our heart. The ego has been protecting us and with us and has developed this false self for so long that we forgot who our authentic self was. And so what has happened is we have more than one heart. Now we actually do have more than one heart. You know, you have your gut and you have your physical heart. But what I'm saying is, I mean that the ego has a heart and a lot of us in the spiritual awakening have been trying to be in our heart, but we have been doing it with the heart of our ego and not the heart of our authentic self. That is the part of you that is just innocent as a child. That is the part, you notice a child, a child can be like, um, yeah, um, I pooed it at school today. It was really, really loud and everybody laughed and it was just so funny. You get a little older, maybe you go through some things and some bullying, and you're not just going to admit out loud in front of a whole lot of people that that was you. You're probably going to look around like it won you, and that's because through programming, we, have, um, we take on this shame. And so the ego is like, I got to protect, I got to protect. I can't let you be shame. I can't let you be embarrassed, right? And it, it is, the ego is very immature, you know? Uh, and doesn't know any other way to be but immature. And so you will react and respond to situations in a very immature way. And later on, you're like, why did I do that? I knew better than that, you know? And so this is the knowledge becoming wisdom through the heart healing. So identify the heart. When you are in your heart, when you think you're having a conversation in your heart, or you're making a decision from your heart, ask yourself, now, is this the heart of my higher self, my authentic self? my pure soul essence prior to any programming, any shaming, or is this the heart of my ego right now? Just ask. And your ancestors, your guides, everything that exists spiritually within you that isn't in your life spectrum or what you can see will show up and will tell you. Whatever deity, energy you're working with, ask. What, what heart, out of what heart was that? Was that my ego's heart? Or was that my heart hearts? <laughs> yeah, but we need a lot of heart healing, y'all. But we got to, we really got to release the shame. We have to release the hypocrisy and being judgmental. So if, if we are not being honest about something, maybe it's time to be honest. You'll know, you'll get a nudge. Don't resist it. Listen to the gut. Listen to the heart of your highest self. But if your ego is showing up more often than your heart, then that's not a reason for you to judge yourself or feel bad. 
that just simply means you have some more work to do. And the ego feels like it needs to be this barrier of protection for you. But the more you heal your inner child, you revisit those feelings. The more you ask yourself, what do I feel in my body? Why am I feeling like this? Why did I, I mean, just self-reflection, okay? Um, and, and it's great if you can have somebody hold you accountable for where you would like to be, who you would like to be. Um, but if you don't have accountability partner, use your spiritual guidance as your accountability partner. Or even people on here in a soul tribe, like, hey, I need an accountability partner. I'm sure somebody, you know, here on the channel, like, hey, I'll, I'll be your accountability partner. What do you want me to hold you accountable for? Well, I'm starting a new diet and blah, 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 blah. You know, every now and then you message them, hey, how you doing on your diet? I mean, it's really simple, but we got to, we can be lone wolves, but we still have to understand that there is a oneness and we must respect that. But that oneness can only be felt as we release shame, as we release judgment, being just super critical. Okay. Because if you are critical of yourself, you're going to automatically be critical of other people. And it is an unconscious program that we are running on. Get in your heart and your life becomes more conscious. I also pulled the fairy stone, which represents fertility. But I also feel as if the fairies are really happy about the inner child healing and the heart healing because they were forced out of this existence. They were forced, the, like fairies weren't always outside of the light spectrum, but they were forced to go outside of the light spectrum um, because of the vibration of earth was so low. This was to protect the elementals. Um, so I just wanted to, I needed to add that part because y'all have to understand whether some people can say, well, you know, that's just in your mind maybe, but if it's just in your mind, that makes it more real than anything. So if you're working with fairies, I've been thinking about it, keep doing it. They're definitely coming through, definitely coming through. Um, the fertility, this is good. This means that a lot of the work that you have been doing um, last year, you're going to reap the rewards of that work. Um, this means that we're going to be blessed with more. But I really need y'all to understand that if you are struggling handling the amount of whatever you have in your life now, you're not going to handle more better. Okay. Uh, if you can't be happy with where you are right now, you can't find some way, something to be grateful about. You're not going to be grateful when you get that thing that you think that you need or that you want to have. You have to practice finding it without that material thing, whatever it may be, or person. Um, we have to have that within us because everything comes from within the soul and comes out. So with this fertility, yes, there will be a lot of fruits, you know, of our of a lot of works that are going to produce fruits. We will have a harvest, but if you if you ain't ready, it's gonna produce chaos. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Gonna produce chaos. Kali go get let loose. And segment, you know, I call on segment when I feel chaos coming into my life. You know what I'm saying? Cause segment like segment go deal with it. You know. She, she watch out for her kids. <laughs> and, um, but sometimes the lesson in that is she, she'll she allow me to feel that lesson, you know, before she shows up for me to help me. Um, yes, so yes, 2020 will be a year of fertility. What seeds have you been planting? That is the question. What seeds have you been planting? So I'm going to go to my Path of the Soul deck, which is, these are like destiny cards using sacred geometry. Y'all have seen them, I didn't use them before. So it's nothing new. But I'm going to get into these cards and let's see what we need to find out. Let me see if I can tap into what you all are thinking right now. So many other collective right now feel like they're doing the work. I'm gonna keep going. And and it seems like nothing is changing or things are changing, but it seems like um the growth 
the growth is not matching the manifestation. Um, this would be no different than someone who received a business was given to them. Um, and so they manifested this incredible business, but they did not grow enough to be able to run the business successfully. Some of us are kind of in that situation, whether it's relationship, business, um, career, whatever it is, you're on your spiritual path. A lot of you all are feeling that way. A lot of you all are feeling like, man, I got this, like 100%, I got this. I can, man, I can do this, you know, like I'm, I'm all about this life. I'm spiritual out here in these streets. And then you have the next day and it's like your angels or, or your demons or whatever energy you're working with, right? Been coming through in your dreams and you're having a hard time even believing that your visualizations or your dreams or what happens when you astral travel, you're having a hard time to believe it's even real. Maybe some of you had a reading or you had some type of supernatural spiritual moment and now you're having a hard time believing that that even really happened. Uh, I just, I feel a lot of confu confusion and this full moon is not going to stop the confusion. This full moon is going to intensify confusion. Um, but if you go into the intensity of confusion, it's going to be like a sauna. It's going to be hot and it might be uncomfortable for a little while. But guess what? When you come out of that sauna, your body is going to be detoxed. You're going to be purified, right? So just ask for help when, when the the contrast does come in your life because it's just coming in your life because you won't do what you know you should do on your own and so the universe has to push you a little bit you know it's like okay let me you keep saying this what you want to manifest you keep you know okay well i'm just gonna nudge you just a little bit into that direction because you ain't moving you stuck and um so for some people you know that you need to change your diet now i've been having some cheat days the last few weeks but um, I still try to eat pretty healthy uh, routinely. Uh, but maybe, you know, you've been eating some things that you know you need to stop eating. And something as simple as what we're eating is important right now. Okay, I'm going to keep that. What, what else is important for the collective to know? What message do you have for the collective? So the first card I pull, card number three, reminds me of a, of a star or a snowflake, a lot of red, the green. And, and to me, when I look at this, I feel, I feel the root chakra. I feel um, the heart chakra. And it's like right in the center. It's, this is like zero point. <laughs> this is how that card feels to me. Um, and I also feel as if these are entities these are energies that incarnated with us to help us in this journey and they're watching they are watching very closely and if you notice there are eight spikes on this and eight is the number of new beginnings this is the perfect card to pull for 2020 but this card again makes me feel like stay focused on stay focused on what is deep within that you know don't let yourself get distracted okay tunnel vision yourself when you find yourself like zooming out way too much and catastrophizing and and so like you're scripting your life to have all kinds of just drama in it because you're not controlling your thoughts right and so let's just focus on deep breaths breathing more not even so much so that it's something a practice you have to sit down and do with intention and spend 30 4 to 5 minutes doing fire breaths. I mean, if that's what you want to do and you at that level, it's great. I can barely do 10. I'd right? be dizzy and out of breath. I'm working on it. But um but just being having conscious breath and understanding that we are going through a transformation, we're going through a rebirth and we we're, we're like at the zero point and so you have these moments where there is no gravity and then it's like you have these moments where it's like you know like too much gravity and it just pulls you down um so let's see the number on this card is three as well three the divine trinity right and according to the book this card represents 
The Awakening. Yeah, here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The Awakening. Okay. This card expresses creative energy and self-empowerment. It signifies a deeper inner awakening to previous, previously unknown inner abilities, powers, and gifts. I've been saying that. That's why they had me open up with speaking in, speaking in my light language. We got this is crazy. Okay. There is a strong spiritual and creative force rising within you. Mm -hmm. Rise to the call. Feel your own strength and utilize the many gifts you possess. Empower others with your strong leadership qualities and ability to find creative solutions. Allow yourself to shine. It is time to share your strengths and gifts with the world. Oh, I've been saying that. That's why it was like, share your gift with the world before you even do this reading. Okay, so this one. 16. This is card number 16. Look at that beautiful spiral. Now, right here, I'm getting just all of the higher chakras. You know what I'm saying? The chakras is connected to the cosmos. I feel the cycles. I feel like there's a pre-programmed um, sequence of light code, excuse me, light codes and, and numbers that we're getting and experiences that we're having. And, and it seems like it's no point in it all, but it is. It is. It, there is definitely a point in everything that is in your life right now. There is a point. And um, we got to stop feeling like that, okay? We got to stop feeling like, because that's feeling like you ain't nobody. And the, the bullshit to come in my life just be in my life to be bullshit. You, we got to come out of that. No, no. When you become a spiritually minded person on this path of self-realization, you say everything that's in my life right now is here to help me. It might not feel like it, but it is here to help me. And this card just, it makes me feel this and it makes me feel more uh, unity, you know, in the transformation, more unity. Um, I feel like there's just consciousness. I feel like telepathically, a lot of us, we could just talk to each other, you know, we could call each other name and then you do a, you see a video pop up, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like that. And for us to not even be amazed by those things because um, my guys are like, yeah, y'all go do way more than this. <laughs> even Jesus said, y'all go do greater works. <laughs> guys are funny yes that is true that's the christ consciousness so just continue your path to healing okay the, the awakening is definitely here and happening so this card is called healing with intention card number 16 when this card appears it is because you have been asking for assistance <laughs> divine healing energy travels in spirals and that is what this card represents mm-hmm are you a healer who is questioning your abilities? Didn't I say this? Then this card is here to tell you that you are a gifted healer and you are on the right path. Set your intentions to understand and use your gifts to their fullest capacity. Trust this gift you have been given. If you have health concerns, be assured the healing process has begun. Set your intentions clearly on allowing your body to receive the healing you seek. The energy of health and restoration surrounds you. Trust your process. Mm. That's beautiful. I literally was just saying all of that. That is so beautiful. Um, so I feel like this is pretty much sums it up i know y'all i feel like a lot of y'all have more questions than you have answers at this point but more questions is great because that's that's the more questions you have the more liberated your mind is to think of these questions and the more you're able to conjure invoke call the answers to you by asking the right questions so that's great if you would like to get a reading with me just email me um at remnantsgathering at gmail.com uh, and right now I'm doing the readings they're $40 uh, typically the readings last half an hour um, if you feel like you just got a whole lot of stuff and you need a whole hour uh, an hour is a hundred dollars 
um, and with the activities, the light codes, a lot of past life stuff comes through. Sometimes dead relatives come through um, or dead friends, people you were close to come through, ancestors come through. Um, I have literally had everything come through that is possible to come through. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, just know that when you're getting a reading with me, um, being an oracle, it, it is just, it's mind blowing every single time. And I know that I need to move more into gratitude instead of amazement, but it amazes me, the lessons that come through. So, um, yeah, so email me. Remnantsgather at gmail.com. This is Campson the Oracle wishing you a happy full moon, wolf moon, and a happy lunar eclipse, the first one of the decade. And um, we've got probably three, three more throughout the year. Um, so if you're doing ritual rituals tonight, that's great. Again, remember the energy will be around for a few days. So if I get a download for a ritual or something to do, I would definitely post it and let you guys know. All right. As we always say, your third eye, man, has just been kissed. <laughs>